inbound from the outer solar system is a comet that promises to put on a spectacular show near the end of 2013 if current estimates of its potential come to pass. As of May 1, 2013, the comet designated C-2012S1, or more commonly, Comet Ison, was about 3.9 astronomical units from the Sun crossing the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. An astronomical unit is a measure of distance set at about 150 million kilometers, or about 93 million miles, based on the Earth's distance from the Sun. The comet is estimated to be about 5 kilometers, or 3.1 miles, in diameter. In early May, Comet Ison was traveling at around 47,600 miles per hour, or about 21.3 kilometers per second. It will accelerate as it approaches perihelion, or its closest approach to the Sun. At perihelion, Comet Ison could be traveling at speeds of up to 425,000 miles, or 684,000 kilometers per hour. That translates to a speed of about 120 miles, or 190 kilometers per second. As of May 1, 2013, the comet has an apparent magnitude of about 15, so it can only be observed by telescope. The threshold for the unaided human eye to be able to observe a celestial body from Earth is around magnitude 6. Numerically, the smaller the magnitude number, the brighter the object, an example being the bright star Sirius, which has a magnitude of negative 1.46. By the middle of November 2013, the comet will start to become visible to the naked eye if current estimates of future apparent magnitude levels hold true. The comet's designation C-2012S1 is derived from the current IAU standards for naming comets. The C indicates a non-periodic comet with 2012 denoting the year of discovery. S indicates it was discovered in the last half of the month of September, with the 1 indicating it was the first comet discovered in the last half of that month. As shown on the chart, the letter designations are based on a 24-letter scheme, with the letters I and Z being unused. The comet was discovered by Artyom Novichinuk and Vitaly Nevsky of the International Scientific Optical Network, or ISON, while making observations near Kislovodsk, Russia, on September 21, 2012. At the time of discovery, Comet Ison was about 6.29 astronomical units from the Sun. If we look at this accelerated animation of the orbit of Comet Ison around the Sun, we can pick out some key points and dates in its journey. From May through September of 2013, the comet will be crossing the asteroid belt region between Jupiter and Mars. The first key date is around October 1, 2013, when Comet Ison crosses the orbit of Mars inbound toward the Sun. The closest approach, Comet Ison will be about 10,860,000 kilometers or 6,740,000 miles from Mars. This is about 28 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. The next key date will be around November 1, 2013, when Comet Ison crosses the orbit of the Earth inbound toward the Sun. The comet will be about 114 million miles from Earth at this point, with a predicted magnitude of about 7.4 and a speed approaching 85,000 miles per hour or higher. On November 11, 2013, Comet Ison will cross the orbit of Venus as it speeds ever closer perihelion. It will be about 0.74 astronomical units from the Sun. Around this date, it will also be dropping below the celestial equator and will remain south of the equator until about December 8, 2013. Around November 23, 2013, Comet Ison will cross the orbit of Mercury. It will be approximately 0.34 astronomical units from the Sun, which translates to about 51 million kilometers, or 32 million miles. On November 28, 2013, Comet Ison reaches perihelion, or its closest approach to the Sun, at 1843 Universal Time. The comet will scream around the Sun at speeds that could approach 425,000 miles per hour, skirting the surface of the Sun at about 1 million kilometers, or 680,000 miles. Stresses on the comet will reach a maximum. Will it survive or will it break up? A question to be answered at perihelion. On December 4, 2013, if the comet survives its close encounter with the Sun, Comet Ison will cross the orbit of Mercury outbound. Its velocity will gradually begin to decrease as it moves outward from the Sun. On December 16, 2013, Comet Ison will cross the orbit of Venus outbound with a predicted magnitude of about 4.4. On December 26, 2013, the comet will make its closest approach to Earth as it crosses the orbit of Earth bound for the outer solar system. 
it will pass at a distance of about 40 million miles from Earth, hopefully presenting a great viewing opportunity for Earthlings. On January 14, 2014, Earth will pass through the orbit of Comet Ison. Some predict that we could see a meteor shower created by cometary debris left in the wake of Comet Ison's passing. Around January 24, 2014, Comet Ison will cross the orbit of Mars outbound toward the asteroid belt. By the 1st of July, 2014, Comet Ison is about 3.9 astronomical units out, heading back to the nether regions from which it came. Due to the nature of the comet's trajectory, it will probably never return to our inner solar system, but will continue outbound into the dark reaches of space. Let's now begin an overview on observing Comet Ison. We will start in May of 2013 and move on into the early days of 2014. Let's start with May 7 of 2013 just as a point of reference. Here is a star chart of Comet Ison at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 0400 Universal Time, as seen from Phoenix, Arizona. Comet Ison is currently in the western sky as seen from Arizona in the late evening. In early May, the comet is far too faint to be seen with the naked eye, being at a magnitude of about 15 at a distance of about 3.8 astronomical units from the Sun. If we look at this skylight view of Comet Ison simulating a telescopic view of the comet, we can see that even with a telescope, the comet is not easy to pick out. Back on April 10th of 2013, the Hubble Space Telescope took this photo of Comet Ison when it was about 4.15 astronomical units out from the Sun. The comet's coma or dust cloud surrounding the head of the comet is about 3,100 miles or about 5,000 kilometers across. The tail of the comet stretches back some 57,000 miles. Amazing statistics when you consider the comet itself is only about 3 miles or 5 kilometers in diameter. Here is a star chart of Comet Ison on May 25, 2013 at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time or 0400 Universal Time is seen from Phoenix, Arizona. The comet will remain faint and only viewable via telescope till the middle of November. Jumping ahead, here is a star chart of Comet Ison's position now in the eastern sky in the early morning as seen from Phoenix, Arizona at 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or 1200 Universal Time. On September 1, 2013, Comet Ison will be about 2.17 astronomical units from the Sun with a magnitude of about 12 far too dim for the unaided human eye to see. Moving ahead one month to October 1st, 2013, we find Comet Ison in the eastern sky in the early morning as seen in this star chart. Time, 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 1200 Universal Time, as viewed from Phoenix, Arizona. Comet Ison is about 1.64 astronomical units from the Sun with a magnitude of about 10.4. The comet is just crossing the orbit of Mars and passes within about 6,740,000 miles of Mars. Moving ahead to November 1, 2013, we find Comet Ison in the eastern sky in the early morning as seen in this star chart. Time 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or 1200 Universal Time as viewed from Phoenix, Arizona. Comet Ison is now about one astronomical unit from the Sun crossing the orbit of Earth inbound toward perihelion. It has a predicted magnitude of about 7.4, so still rather faint for the naked eye to view. The comet will be about 114 million miles from Earth at this point. On November 15, 2013, we find Comet Ison in the eastern sky in the early morning as seen in this star chart, time 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or 1300 Universal Time as viewed from Phoenix, Arizona. Comet Ison is predicted to brighten to a magnitude of about 5 around November 15, so should start becoming visible to the naked eye. By November 23, 2013, Comet Ison is moving ever closer to the Sun. In this star chart, we can see that the comet is near Mercury in the morning sky, depicted here at 7 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 1400 Universal Time, as viewed from Phoenix, Arizona. The comet is now 32 million miles from the Sun with a predicted magnitude of 2.9. It should easily be visible to the naked eye. It is about five days out from perihelion. On November 28, 2013, Comet Ison reaches perihelion with the Sun at about 1843 Universal Time. It is too near the Sun to be viewed by the human eye, 
but it is possible one of NASA's solar observatories will be able to image the comet as it passes near the Sun. The twin solar observatories that are a part of NASA's stereo mission will be in a prime position to image the comet as it passes around the Sun. As shown on the stereo website, here is a graphic of the position of the twin satellites on November 28, 2013. The twin spacecraft should be able to monitor the passage of Comet Ison as it whips around the Sun. In the graphic on the left, we can see the position of the twin satellites, noted here as A and B. In the graphic on the right, we can see the dotted line which marks the passage of Comet Ison along its orbit around the Sun at perihelion, as seen from the perspective of the Stereo spacecraft. By December 1, 2013, Comet Ison is rounding the Sun and beginning to become visible in the morning sky as viewed from Arizona. In this star chart, we can see the comet just appearing on the eastern horizon at 7 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 1400 Universal Time. It should have a magnitude of around 1. By December 8, 2013, the comet is coming into prime viewing in the early morning in the eastern sky as seen from Arizona. In this star chart, depicted at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 1300 Universal Time, the comet is above the horizon shining at a predicted magnitude of about 3.5. On December 26, 2013, Comet Ison makes its closest approach to Earth as it crosses the orbit of the Earth outbound. In this star chart of December 26, 2013, at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 1300 Universal Time, the comet is high in the morning sky in the northeast as viewed from Phoenix, Arizona. Its predicted magnitude is around 5, so it is beginning to dim and will become more difficult to see. The comet will be about 40 million miles from the Earth on December 26, 2013. On January 1, 2014, Comet Ison will be high in the early morning sky to the north as viewed from Phoenix, Arizona. This star chart of January 1, 2014, depicted at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 1300 Universal Time, shows the comet nearing the North Star. It will have a predicted magnitude of about 5.7, so it may be difficult to see with the naked eye. By January 6, 2014, Comet Ison is predicted to have a magnitude approaching 6. Unless something changes, it will be past prime viewing without binoculars or a telescope. As depicted in this star chart of January 6, 2014, at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or 1300 Universal Time, Comet Ison will be near the North Star as viewed from Phoenix, Arizona. The prime viewing time for Comet Ison in the Northern Hemisphere should be the last week of November 2013 and the first couple of weeks in December of 2013. If the comet survived perihelion, it should be shining brightly in the early morning sky to the east. Hopefully, Comet Ison will put on a spectacular show, but there is no guarantee that it will. The comet may not survive perihelion. It could break up or just turn out to be a disappointment. Predicting the behavior of a comet is tricky at best as each comet has its own unique set of parameters. Whatever the case, Comet Ison should pique the interest of Earthlings as it passes through our solar system on its journey through space. We will be watching.